Having said it, children, what are the standard basic uh, functions? Sine, cos, ten, cos x, x, cot. Having understood what are reciprocal relation, let's move further with complementary relation. And here I've written standard identities. We'll go through that also first complementary relation. Now, as I stated in my previous video, that this particular figure is nothing but the all important figure, right? So let's once again start off with the same one. Triangle ABC, it's a right angle triangle. As I stated in my previous video, that we are restricting ourselves to right angle triangle only. So in right angle triangle ABC, angle B is 90 degree. Angle C, the name we have given is theta. So what shall be angle A? Any guesses? Angle A is 90 minus theta. If one is 90, other being theta, the third one will be 90 minus theta. Now those who have a query, sir, how this particular 90 minus theta came? Here goes the answer. It is angle A plus angle B plus angle C is 180. Sum of measures of all angles in a triangle is 180. Angle A, I don't know. Angle B is 90. Angle C is theta, 180. 90 goes there. Angle A is 180 minus 90 minus theta. Angle A is 90 minus theta. Just remember this. In a trigonometry, right angle triangle, if one angle is theta, acute angle I'm trying to say. One is right angle, that we are aware about. If one angle is theta, the other is 90 minus theta. If one angle is alpha, the other is 90 minus alpha. One angle is beta, the other is 90 minus beta. Right? Let's start. What are the complementary relations? We have six in number. Right? We have six in number. Sine theta is cos 90 minus theta. Cos theta, sine 90 minus theta. Sec theta, cosec 90 minus theta. Cosec theta, sec 90 minus theta. Cot theta, 10 90 minus theta. 10 theta, cot 90 minus theta. Right? Now, I shall make you understand only one of these. You can try out the remaining from your end. So let's understand what is sin theta. My children are very much aware about the basic def definitions of you know, trigonometrical functions, sine cos 10, cos x x cot. So let's start, let's start with your first one. We are proving this one, mind you. So I shall just say, what is sine theta? Sine theta, as per the definition, what is sine theta? Sine theta is opposite upon adjacent. Sine theta is opposite upon adjacent. Opposite is AB, adjacent is AC. So let this be my equation number one. Now what is my RHS? Cos 90 minus theta. Now, when I say cos 90 minus theta, I'm not supposed to focus here. No, I'm not supposed to focus here because my angle has changed. My angle is no longer theta. My angle is 90 minus theta. So I have to focus myself on this angle A. Up till now, we were focusing on theta. Now we will be focusing 90 minus theta. Now, what is the definition of cos? Cos is adjacent upon hypotenuse. So now I shall ask this 90 minus theta. Who is adjacent to you? Adjacent to 90 minus theta is AB. And what is hypotenuse? AC. So what is cos 90 minus theta? As per the definition, cos is adjacent. Adjacent is AB. Hypotenuse is AC. Equation number 2 from 1 and 2. What shall I get? From 1 and 2, sin theta is cos 90 minus theta. Sin theta is cos 90 minus theta. Children, I just want... All of my children to, you know, perform all these remaining five in the similar way. You'll be getting the answer in the same way. Right? So, what are the complementary relations? Sine theta is cos 90 minus theta. Cos theta is sine 90 minus theta. You remember the first slide? I said, what is sine and cos? Cosine. Complement of sine. So, there exists a complementary relation. Secant. Cosecant. Complement of secant. So there exists complementary relation between secant and cosecant, cot and tangent. What did I say for cot? Cotangent, complement of tangent. So there lies in a complementary relation over there also. As I mentioned that those are nothing but complementary functions of sine, cos and ten. So now when I say sine theta is cos 90 minus theta, cos theta is sine 90 minus theta, sec theta is cosec 90 minus theta, cosec theta is sec 90 minus theta, ten theta is cot 90 minus theta, cot theta is ten 90 minus theta. Right now comes the main all important standard identities of trigo. If you want to, 
if you want to master two proof sums of Trigo, proof LHS and RHS, you should be very well versed with identities, standard identities. So there are three standard identities, children. There are three standard identities. The three standard identities are nothing but sine square plus cos square is one, one plus 10 square is six square, and one plus cot square is cosec square. So what are the three standard identities? Sine square plus cos square is one, one plus 10 square is six square, one plus cot square is cos x square. Now, how, why have I written, sir, then this nine as such? No, it's from the first only I can say sine square plus cos square is one, which implies cos square is one minus sine square, pure math. Likewise, sine square is one minus cos square. One plus 10 square is six square. Six square minus 10 square, when this goes over there, I'll get one. Or you can say six square minus one, what I get is 10 square. Again, pure math. One plus cot square cos x square, cos x square minus cot square is one, or cos x square minus one is cot square. Children, I don't want my any of my children to remember all nine. I just want them to remember the remaining part is pure math. So what are the three basic identities? The fundamental identities, standard identities one can say are three. Sine square theta plus cos square theta is one. One plus 10 square theta is sex square theta. One plus cot square theta is cosec square theta. Right? So what we have learned in this particular slide, complementary relation, sine cos, sec cosec, 10 cot, and the three standard identities. As I said in the previous one, here also I say children, you should know all the basic definition, inverse relation, reciprocal relation, that is complementary relation, identities, you can say, you know Trigo very well, right?